I'm Dr. Angela McBrady of drflute.com. Today's flute tip is how not to crack on your middle register notes. I have some flute tips on how to tongue your D and your C sharp and your C and your E flat and how to get a good tone on those. But I want to get a little bit more specific today. And that is how not to let those notes crack. They're very easily cracked and they're not the only notes. We have higher notes that we can work on and how not to um, allow them to crack. But right now, I wanna just concentrate on these middle register notes. Say D. D is a note that wants to crack. And especially if we have that D or we have a couple notes that are in that very middle narrow range of C sharp and D and E flat, where our first finger is up. And we've come from high notes, or we've come from low notes, uh, and we're getting, jumping to those, uh, those particular tricky spots. They'll have a tendency to crack. And I want to just give you a couple little pointers on how not to let that happen. By cracking, I kind of mean that, yeah, there's an actual just cracking sound where it just flips from one side to the other or high to low or low to high. But often we call that kind of cracking sound a caught in between sound. But caught in between is that you're getting a low sound and a high sound simultaneously. So two reasons why that caught in between sound where that cracking sound is going to be there uh, is because your airstream is probably too high Sometimes it can be too low, but the airstream is just not in the right spot, probably too high. And then related to that is we don't have a nice open embouchure. The embouchure is too small, okay? So if I have it really small, I get that little edgy sound. It wasn't cracking, but the airstream is higher. So more chances that I'm going to get a, a cracking sound that goes up higher when I hit that. Especially if I had to tongue it quickly and I had a heart over tongue. Um, and then if I'm really low, what's going to happen is this is going to be airy. I'm not sure it's going to actually crack. Um, in this spot, this is the Devian Concerto. It's very middle of the range, just like your Baroque music. And um, there's some spots where it can crack right here uh, in measure two. Now I heard it actually give me a caught in between sound on the F sharp. It starts with a G sharp, F sharp, B, and then E all middle range stuff. And I heard it crack just a little bit. It was a little bit caught in between on the F sharp. And it wants to on that E really badly. So I'm really focusing on where am I aiming that? Because right now, you know, I'm pretty comfortable in my studio and I'm filming. Um, but if I were to perform that and I was nervous, I might, without thinking about it, it might crack on me. So I really want to analyze how, where do I have to put that air? All right, so let me concentrate on the E where I'm going to in, in measure two of that. Uh, and this is, you know, after I'm saying measure two, but it's after all the introduction, it's the second measure of where the solo begins. Did you hear that caught? It was really caught in between. So what am I, I need to figure out where do I want my embouchure? Where do I want my air? What's going to give me a good sound? There's a caught in between sound. Now that was caught in between. I just realized because my air was too low. So I can get that caught in between sound if my air is too low. Okay, now what I'm doing to make sure that I'm not getting that low sound is I'm bringing my jaw out a little bit. I need to get just a little bit more ooh. If I've kept the ah, that's, I think that's going to invite that caught in between sound. So my air is up a little bit, not too high, but I want to bring this bottom jaw out a little bit so that my air is up. <laughs> Now 
Now, I'm also opening. I opened too far and then tone went down again. And if I keep it just open, but don't let, and that's, well, it went down again because I dropped my airstream because my jaw was opening too much. But I want to keep that embouchure open. <laughs> You can hear I'm fighting with that a little bit. Now, let me see if I can go from the beginning. So it's just, um, I'm only playing four notes here. Now, what I'm trying to do is make sure that I don't lower too much for the E. That's a B, and I'm gonna sort of maintain that embouchure. Now I know that I'm going to go lower than that. So sometimes um, I'm going to, an I anticipate that my jaw is going to open up a little bit because I have to go lower than that after it. So that's an octave lower to a B. And um, if I anticipate that too soon, then that E is going to crack the first one that I play. I hit it, it cracked. So it's a really tricky area and we want to not crack. You want to analyze where did your where does your embouchure fit? Uh, where should the airstream be blowing? how high or how low, and that will really help you to figure out um, where to get the best tone quality. So it's tricky when you're playing your Bach and you're playing your Mozart solos and there's not a lot of really high stuff, not a lot of really low stuff, although there is low, especially your Mozart concertos, um, jumping two octaves sometimes, but your middle register notes really need to have a solid embouchure so you know exactly where to place those. So that's what my advice would be to help you figure out how to get those middle register notes. It's embouchure, it's where the airstream should be going, and you too can correct your middle register notes and not let them crack anymore. Sometimes you don't even know you've been cracking until you uh, record yourself and then listen to something that you're playing in the middle register and realize, oh man, I am cracking in there. I am getting that caught in between sound. Um, and then you can start working on it. So I would say the best thing to do is record yourself, listen to it, analyze what is going on. Is, your, is it your embouchure? Is it your airstream? Is it the two of them mixed together? And then make sure that you're uh, a little bit, ooh, the jaw is out a little bit, your airstream is up just a bit, and you're not too closed. And I think you'll be able to fix those particular pesky little notes that want to crack or get caught in between. That's today's flute tip.